What's good guys, this is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel, the only sneaker channel here on YouTube where you come for the review and you stay for the conversation. What do I mean by that? After the review, the wife and I talk because she likes to talk a lot of shit about my shoes. These bad boys right here are the white and red Air Jordan 14s. It's probably my favorite colorway of the shoe other than the white and UNC lows and the Indiglows, those are fire and the black toes, those are fire too. What other colorways are there? The last shots, those are fire. This shoe is beautiful, man. But these bad boys are back. They have released a couple of times in retro form and every time I've missed out on them. So I grabbed them. Big thank you to my boy Stanley over in New York. He's a fellow wear tester. If you see any coverage in New York, that's that's from Stanley. And what had happened was he got the email notification from Nike or something, I don't know, cause I don't get these emails. And they were like, yo, we got these reserved for you till 8 p.m. And I was just like, bro, like what? I've spent so much money. I spend so much money on Nike. Why don't y'all give me a reserve? Instead, I'm waiting on that stupid ass Foot Locker and Champs app as the countdown thing go down and it's going to tell me, nope, you ain't got your size. And I'm just be like, yo, it's like every week. But anyways, he got that and I was like, bro, you're going to use it? He was like, nah, man. So I used it, got my size. Again, big thank you to Stanley. I greatly appreciate it. And this is the first time that I've ever owned this colorway. Right here, we got an OG colorway, not these right here, but this is like an OG uh, box. That's what this box is supposed to represent. It doesn't look exactly like it but they got it pretty close and i think that that's cool i love that they've done that it shows that the brand cares a little bit more in the overall like what we remember you know what i mean like i get like the new kids don't care about this stuff but us old heads we do we remember what it's like getting jordans on a wednesday not a saturday and then you open up the box and you're like damn those are fresh and that's what that's what these are all about right here so i love no what is this why is it not who did that? It's like you at the movies and then you got that one dude. You got that one dude where it's like, bro, you had one job. I was just in a straight reminisce mode. I was just having flashbacks. Man, she messed it up. But anyways, these are an OG pair of 14s. Jordan Brand has said in their marketing for these guys, stitch for stitch, that these things are supposed to be as close as possible to the OGs. Granted, this is a different colorway. It's not exactly stitch for stitch, like there's a little bit of a different height difference between the toe boxes and stuff like that, but it really doesn't matter because the things that they did do right on this shoe, they did really, really right, and I just love that. Man, these, these have the smell. Can you smell right now? A little bit. I'm, like, I'm sick right now, but I could smell it. I could, this is so good. You can hit, probably hear my nostrils being like, I'm working real hard for that, but like, it's worth it. Come smell it. I don't want to. Come on, just smell it real quick. Else's no, it doesn't. It overpowers it. Come here. You have to experience the experience. You smell that? Yeah. That's an Air Jordan 14. Now smell this one. That's not. That smells like glue and paint. Uh, I think you got them confused. No, that smells like a good leather purse. That smells like glue and paint. This is not what good leather smells like. This is what lead-based paint smells like. As far as tech specs are concerned with these bad boys right here, they are not identical to the original. The originals had four foot zoom air, but it was chambered and it was awesome. At that time, that was what articulated zoom air looked like. And then it had a large volume zoom air unit in the heel. These guys, they still have the same tech specs as far as like the names of everything. It's heel and four foot zoom air. The four foot zoom air though is not articulated. It's just a normal zoom bag. So the same exact bag that you would see in an Air Jordan 13. I don't think that that's a big deal. I think that they're just as comfortable. Obviously the originals were a little bit more comfortable. They had a larger volume zoom air in the front and all that stuff, but we still get those same exact zoom bags in modern day performance. So there's nothing really different between these and a modern day shoe other than these look way better in my opinion, at least. We also have this insole that came with the originals. This isn't exactly like the original insole. These EVA additional pads are a lot thinner and stuff, but it's pretty close. So, you know, again, just a nice nod that they were able to include that. And one of the other features that they included on this version of the retro is that they uncovered the vent that is inside, something that has been missing on previous retro renditions of the shoe. So while that guy doesn't offer a ton of airflow, at least it's not covered up on the inside like it usually is. And one of the things that is different between this colorway and the rest is that the shank plate right here is made out of carbon fiber. The rest of them are made out of TPU. So these are just a little bit stronger. Not anything that's going to destroy performance or anything like that. Like TPU, you know, shank plates are, are normal, but I just find it interesting that these guys are carbon fiber, whereas all the rest of them are all TPU. The colorway itself is very clean. It is very classic, especially 
especially if you're a Chicago Bulls fan from the 90s. It's just a simple white and red look. What I love about these guys right here is that they got the paint almost perfect. Like it's not like identical to the original or anything, but it's very close. Uh, you guys are probably not gonna be able to see this or anything, but there are glitter specks very faint inside of the paint right there. And it was supposed to, you know, really represent that Ferrari feel or that sports car feel that the entire shoe just gave off. And that is something that was missing on the previous retros. I believe that the red was a little bit darker. It just wasn't as candy apple red as the originals. These guys, again, they're very close. It's not quite like the original, but it's probably the best that I've seen on any of the retros. Again, these have been retro twice. I can't remember when. I think one of them was in 2005. And that's when I got my last shots. Like my, my first pair of 14s that I owned was back then. That was the day back then. Like that, a lot of people will crap on that year, like that era of retros, but those last shots, boy, like those were better than the originals. And then the next release was in, I think 2012, and I just totally just missed out on those. And every time I would look for them on eBay or whatever, this little back tab right there would be like super yellow, even though the rest of the shoe would look great. So I never ended up pulling the trigger. I really hope that doesn't happen here because I think that this thing looks fantastic. And on top of that, it was supposed to kind of like mimic the tire tread on a wheel or a sports racer. So that goes right here all the way down. And then you go into the actual traction, which is herringbone. Awesome stuff right here. This is one of the greatest retros to play in. And if you were curious about which retros are the best to play in, click right there. We've got a video for you. The overall materials are very nice. I don't remember what the originals were, but if you wanted to check out a video on the originals, go head over to our friend mjo 23 dance channel he has a great video on them right now but the toe cap right here is synthetic as is this little like rear panel that you can see on the collar i don't know if the you know the ribbed section is real leather all i know is that it feels hella nice it feels real buttery it feels soft if you have the last shots from the last release these guys are they feel like just like it like this is just super soft stuff it feels super plush even in the little sections right there in the back it feels like a pillow and i just absolutely love it i love the way that it looks and the way that it feels as far as fit is concerned these guys do fit true to size i think that they're awesome i really want to hoop in these right now but it's raining and i'm still rehabbing my calf so that's probably not an option and that pretty much takes care of it there's not much else to talk about you guys already know we've covered this in previous air jordan 14 videos they have 14 Jumpman on them for the air jordan 14 back in my day if you wore this especially in my area if you were in san jose and you wore these guys right here and you were not with the gang the xiv the norteños man you were getting your ass whooped it was a big thing these and the black and red ones lots of gang violence back then it was real interesting Interesting. The entire shoe is just kind of based off of a Ferrari, so that's why you've got all of that stuff. You got the shield emblem, the tire, the air scoop, the candy apple red. Man, these are fresh. These are so fresh. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. I hope that you guys are able to grab a pair if you are interested in grabbing a pair. Retail is 190. They should be available at you know all Jordan brand retailers, and they'll be available in all the sizes. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support, and until next time, guys. Have a good one. I don't feel like I should be on this right now because you guys aren't gonna like me afterwards. I know that you're not gonna hit like me right in the feels. Like, <laughs> right here. There's nothing that you can say about these other than they're beautiful. That's it. And they're comfortable. I've owned a pair and I don't think they're comfortable. It's because she got wide feet though. It's this, not the shoes. These fault. things here kill my pinky toe, but I loved my husband so much and he bought me them that I was like, I'm gonna wear them anyways. I bought her the black and pink. They were all black and the only pink was on the logos. They were the women's release. Mm -hmm. Those were fire. I wore them through my pregnancy with our oldest daughter and she recently hit my shoe size this year. And so I was like, here, I haven't worn them. And she, in like she demolished two, them. In like two days, like the new buck is gone, everything. I'm like, how the f she did you do that? Somehow, yeah, the jump took man's the gone. jump man off. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. They don't appreciate stuff. My problem yeah. with this particular shoe is I actually like the yellow one that's coming out better. Do you know why? The yellow Ferrari joints? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't like these ribs. No, I love the ribs. I don't. I love the ribs. You know, back in 2005, they released the black toes. Okay. Okay, and the original version of the shoe had that pebbled leather on the side, but on the, the first version of the retro, they released the black toes with this look, and people were pissed because it wasn't OG. The, the OG version was like these guys. The flat. 
Yeah, where it had just the the smoother, but it's not smooth, but it's like that textured stuff. Yeah. And they released it like this. Um, I don't know what the reason was. Like, I don't know if it was maybe a mistake and they were just like, F it, we already produced them. So we're just going to release them or what? Because sometimes that happens, like communication right. errors because you're talking like to people in China. So like sometimes things get lost in translation. I remember specifically not grabbing them because they, I, they threw me off. Like I was like, what the heck? Like that's not how they used to be. But then years later, I don't know why, but I love the way that the rib looks, man. And so I was just like, you know, I know that that is not OG, mm -hmm. but they were pretty as still like just as they were it's a weird thing for my eyes i don't like it i like it more smooth there's so much else going on everywhere else that you just don't need that oh no you do you need if you can put quilted leather in there like that that soft like like feels like your grandma's couch <laughs> just do it you know they did it with those it was a thing back then puffy but the, leather puffy but the leather. thing is there's no 13 where it's a flat panel there's that always has that look to it the dimples yes um is there Cause it just, that's hold what on, makes the on, 13. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, no, they all got the dimples. They all got the dimples, even the mesh ones. And they look great. So. And these look great too. This is my preference. You can have your preference, this is my preference. And I prefer no ribs. She don't even, <laughs> half the time, half the time she won't even be wearing shoes. She don't have nothing to say. You can't trust a girl. They, they, they would go, they would go barefoot. You wouldn't even. I have shoes on right now. Yeah, I know, but that's because you own a lot of shoes right now. But like normally, our. Most of our time together, you spend time with no shoes on. Hey. Yeah. <laughs>